Tommy, back to action again on Saturday. Quick turnaround. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Uh, we're looking forward to it. It was a game, we have a close game at their place. Um, and on the back of a really good performance on Tuesday, I, I hope the lads uh, en masse or are, are ready to go. We're, we're certainly looking forward to it as a staff. Obviously, with these quick turnarounds, momentum's the main thing. We, we, we got a good draw against a good side, so do you think that'll carry through? Well, you, you wanted to. I mean, what it did do is it got the, the game and a half previous to that out of our system where I felt the, the levels that we, we produced weren't of the standard that we've expected from, from the moment we've walked in the door, really, but certainly this season. And I've got to give the lads a little bit of credit in that they haven't dropped below the standards we set too often. Um, but the disappointment at Bishop Storford and then again at Kidderminster are way behind us now because what should be fresh in all of the players' minds and, and the people who watched the game is that we were right at it against the second best team in the league at the moment. Um, and, you know, if, if it was a boxing match, we were probably just about one on points. Um, so we've got, to, we've got to take that into the next, not just the next game, we've got 18 games left at least in this league and, and we've, we've got to have them standards for the next 18 games. We saw the new arrival Josh Barrett come off the bench and, and saw a little glimpse of what he can do and he's been followed through the door by Roland and well, what, what do you think they can bring to the team? Well, I think at this stage of the season, I've mentioned to you a few times, there's a lot of our lads going into uncharted territory in terms of the amount of games and the amount of minutes they've played, certainly at this level, but in general in first team football. So as a staff, I think we had a chat and we all agreed we needed a little bit more strength in depth of players who are of the level and, and above, really. Um, and I think the two have, will bring great competition to the to the squad. You know, they're not going to walk into the team. They've got to earn the right to get in it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to working again with Josh, but for the first time really with Roland, although I knew him when he was at Bristol Rovers. I didn't work with him. Um, I actually sold him. He didn't know that. <laughs> but, uh, but um, yeah, it, it, you know, I think it's really important. And on the back of that, that there's probably one or two either gonna, of our own going to go out to get some game time somewhere else. Because I don't want seven or eight or six or seven lads not involved in the, in the match day squad. So that, there's going to be some done. But I think with our Tuesday just gone, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday coming up, nothing really will happen on the outgoings probably before then. Uh, our opponents on Saturday, Rochdale, obviously they gave us a tough time when we went up uh, earlier in the season. Is, is there still the belief we can beat them though at our place? Yeah, I mean, we've been very comfortable when we're on skin at home, haven't we? And, and I'd like to think we can, you know, put out a performance worthy of what we did the other night, at least. So, But Rochdale are a good side too. They've got a real identity the way they play um, and they'll be coming down here. We've accrued near enough the same amount of points, I think, haven't we, over the over the the course of the season so far so there's not a lot between the two sides there wasn't a lot in the first game we managed to sneak ahead in that game and, and, and gave it up but um, yeah, we look for the, for the to flip it around this time and hopefully we can, we can get through